This is example 1.86 from our textbook, Singer is Around, Mechanical Vibrations. We like to add here two harmonic functions that have different frequencies. So consider two harmonic functions, x1, that is 1 half cosine of pi half t, and x2, which is sine of pi t. We like to find out if the sum of x1 plus x2 is periodic motion, and what is the period of that periodic motion, and we like to know if the sum of those two functions is harmonic. So if we add the two functions, it will be 1 half of cosine of pi half t plus sine of pi t. Let's graph this function to see if it is periodic. The graph looks something like that, and as you see, every four seconds, the form of the graph repeats itself. Therefore, we can say that it's periodic with a period equals to four seconds. We can use the trigonometric identity to rewrite this expression in this form. Sine of pi t can be written as 2 sine pi half t cosine pi half t. And if we substitute sine pi t in our original equation, we get that this is 1 half cosine of pi half t plus 2 sine pi half t times cosine of pi half t. Cosine of pi half t is in both terms, therefore we can take it out and we can write 1 half pi half t that multiplies 1 plus 4 sine pi, sine pi half t. So this is another way to write the same equation as the one above. To determine if the function is harmonic, we will derive it twice. So the first derivative is equal to x dot so of t is one negative one half sine of pi half t and the internal derivative is pi half plus cosine of pi t and in the internal derivative is pi. If I derive this expression again, I get one half cosine of pi half t and the internal derivative is pi half, so I have pi half squared. And then the derivative of cosine pi t is sine pi t, and the internal derivative is pi, so I have pi squared. I can write this expression as pi squared, that multiplies I want 8 cosine of pi half t plus sine pi t. As you see, this expression in the bracket is not exactly the same as the original one because we have this one eight. So we cannot say that the second derivative is equals to a negative a constant times the function. Therefore, the function is not harmonic. So the second derivative is not a constant times the initial function. So we found out that the function is periodic but not harmonic.